What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at the daily wrap after Phil's or DSP's DP event where he uh, essentially did the same thing he does every day uh, but this time he did it for nine and a half hours and of course contributions are mandatory. Uh, the event, yeah, lasted like a nine and a half hours. It was pretty dull. It was essentially Phil doing the same thing he does on all of his streams. Tier list, playing Street Fighter, uh, eating food, and uh, doing a schedule. So, uh, but, but this time, of course, he did a six-month schedule, which was exciting and riveting for the dents. Um, yeah, I mean, I posted a couple videos out there. The only real interesting thing out there was his rant. Uh, about the American flag. Apparently, I triggered him when I posted a video on flag etiquette and uh, it caused them to blow a gasket. So let's watch the video. What is going on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Sunday, the 2nd of July, 2023, also known as DSP's Digital Summer Party, the big marathon event that people have been waiting for for a while with a good variety of stuff, as you can see. I had some special attire. I had some good stuff going on. We had double bubble guns going multiple times during the day. We had food. We had booze. Like this. Pretty cool. We had gameplay of Street Fighter VI. We had a fun tier maker. We made out the schedule for the rest of the year. It was a great event. Let's talk a little bit about it. It all started around 10.45 a.m. when we did a level one podcast. It was a pre pretty typical normal show. Uh, about an hour and a half in length and after that we jumped right into doing the schedule for the rest of the year which lasted about another 90 minutes you know going through the entire game release schedule for every month and outlining the games that i'm most interested in playing games that may are maybes for me and definitely games that i'm skipping um definitely looks like the summer's kind of dead until you know then september it picks up huge so definitely ample time for me to finish up the rpgs i'm playing maybe play some odds and ends and things that you guys wanted to see me do that i skipped go back to elden ring um and then have a very special celebration in august celebrating my 15 year anniversary as a content creator there's going to be a series of events and things going on there that are going to be very special and fun <clears throat> I'm sorry, but when I hear the word special, right, I expect something unique, something different, Phil, something that you haven't done either in a very long time or something you've never done. Special isn't giving me the same crap just in larger quantities. For example, you go through a schedule every single day and you spend about 15 minutes going over that schedule. Just because you do a schedule, just we do a just because you do a schedule segment on your on a special event for an hour and a half doesn't make it special. It's just longer. It's the same thing with you eating, or it's the same thing with you uh, playing games. And the the next thing you've been doing that was, I guess, sort of special was tearless. But of course, you you start milking you start milking that and and using that every single time. If you're going to do a special event, do something different, Phil. Like, why couldn't you do a quick setup, right? Take a camera or, or your phone and the, the, the segment with the cooking. Why couldn't you go to the kitchen and cook it and prep it and show that? That would have been different. You know, that, that would have been a different thing and, and it's special as you like to call it. But you sitting there at your desk and uh, calling something special and, you know... Uh, uh, doing things longer isn't special, Phil. It's this. It's more of the same. It's more of the same. And the funny thing is, too, is that you can notice the downward trend, like the Super Bowl event, and then the um, the other event he did after that, uh, the one where Jinx wailed out. He got like thirteen hundred dollars uh, for the one where Jinx wailed out, and then the Super Bowl event, he got over like seven hundred dollars in tips. Here, he barely cracked five hundred. I mean, he was stuck on 400 for a good period of time. It wasn't until I think like NGO near the very end, he dropped a hundred dollar dono. And it was only three people. I mean, it was Emil, Dan the Man, and NGO. I think that dropped 400 bucks for four shots. And that was it. So even these special events that Phil likes to classify them in, they're getting boring. And of course, Phil always waits to the last minute to change things. He's just waiting for that special event where he only gets a hundred bucks in tips to start asking his dents, oh, maybe I need to change. Maybe I need to do something different. I need your feedback, tell me. And it's just, why don't you just 
prepare a little bit ahead of time and think, okay, you know, I keep doing the same thing. Let me add something slightly different to the next special event. And, and that way it is truly a special event. And then of course, like I said, September, October, November, absolutely crazy for game releases and even December. We got one big one and then it looks like there's a Christmas themed game we could actually maybe play in December. So should be a good, a good year overall. But if you want that full skinny, that video should be available here on the channel to watch. Then we did Street Fighter 6 gameplay. We played with three characters today, Lily, Honda, yes, the return of E Honda after a very long time, and Blanca. About roughly 45 minutes to an hour with each of them. Uh, all casual uh, matches, but really fun. A lot of the times I was facing off against high ranked platinum and or diamond ranked players. <clears throat> and it was very challenging and interesting, and I had a great time doing it. Um, you know, why all casual? Because I was drinking booze, and if I'm drinking booze, I don't want to kill my rank. Okay, again, Phil, what is special about you playing Street Fighter? You do it like three or four times a week. There's there's nothing special. The only difference this time, I guess, is you played casual the extended period of time, and it was funny because you got bodied, and I love how you sit here and try to claim, oh, well, I was drinking booze. You had four shots in a period of nine hours, Phil. Uh, your tolerance for alcohol is way higher than that. So uh, the excuse of, oh, I was drinking liquor, and that's why I was terrible at Street Fighter. Doesn't hold up, Phil. Doesn't hold up one bit. You know, standings. But I had a great time in the casual matches. People really seemed to enjoy it. Uh, the food was fun. My wife made, first of all, strawberry lemonade, which we drank all day long. It was really fun. We sipped on it. Uh, finished almost half a pitcher of it by the end of the day, which was, it was really good. Then, uh, food. We had uh, chili cheese dogs as well as some homemade mac and cheese. And I ate all of that together as like a dinner, so that's one video. And then later on in the day, we had a dessert, a peach cobbler, which I have the remnants of sitting right next to me right now. Um, and kind of like that was the final you know video of the marathon to say goodnight to everyone. So that went well. And a special tier maker where we ranked 50 different kinds of American cuisine against each other. And it went really well. People liked that too. So here's... This man has an extreme food fetish. I mean, he gets more excited talking about food than anything else. He gets more excited than talking about uh, when he, he he gets more excited talking about food than he does talking about my wife. He gets more excited about uh, talking about food than actually going outside and doing something fun. It's it's quite pathetic. It's almost a fetish. And the other thing is, of course, we saw the paper plates make another appearance. Oh my lord! And and. I don't know what is it with this guy, but I'm assuming he, he eats, he uses paper utensils, plates for every single meal. Uh, I know that cat broke the dishwasher and he still hasn't fixed it. So of course there's no way they can hand wash dishes. So paper plates for all meals. Oh my Lord. That's how it's going to work. As soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to start uploading. So the level one podcast, the gaming schedule update the three videos of Street Fighter 6 gameplay and this daily wrap will all go live on DSP Gaming right now overnight, okay? Over on DSP Reacts, my React channel, they're gonna have tonight, the tier maker for the American cuisine will go live. Then tomorrow, the video of me trying out the chili cheese dogs as well as the mac and cheese will go live. And then the final video of the marathon, which was the peach cobbler will go live over there on Tuesday. So we'll spread the videos out. That way there's not too much overload on either channel. If I uploaded them all one place, people would be like, oh my God, that's way too many videos. So that way it spreads it out for variety purposes. And by the way, the support today was absolutely great. Thank you to anyone who came by and supported my streams in any way. I really, really appreciate that. It was a great day overall. Everyone seemed to say they loved the event. They can't wait for more. So good stuff today. All right. Uh, tomorrow, Monday on the 3rd, we get back to regularly scheduled gameplay. It'll be the level one podcast in the morning. And that'll be followed by my <clears throat> Final Fantasy 16 playthrough continuing on the first stream. And then the late stream tomorrow night will be Zelda Tears of the Kingdom continuing on as we head into the fifth dungeon of the game. Um, then Tuesday, we return to Street Fighter 6. I have no clue what I'm doing in the game at that point, but we're doing it as the main stream. And then Tuesday night will be Diablo 4. And then Wednesday, either more Final Fantasy 16 or Street Fighter 6, depending on what people want. And then Wednesday night, it'll be uh, more Zelda. Okay? Guys, gals, everyone watching, thank you all. I really appreciate your support. Please remember, with all these videos going live right now, if you could like them if you enjoy them and leave comments on them. You know, for the amount of people who watch, we're talking hundreds to thousands. 
Typically, I get at most 20, 30 likes on a video. It'd be great if we could get hundreds. That would help so much for this channel and get more people to watch it. If you could do that, especially if you're enjoying a special event like this, please like the content and, of course, leave comments. That engagement helps as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night. I'm exhausted. I got to get to uploading and get everything set up for tomorrow. So I'm out of here. But please have a good night. See you all in the morning for another fun day of streams. Peace out, my friends. Have a good one. Okay, only Phil would be excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It just he makes me laugh. Anyway, just listening to his, uh, uh, you know, his schedule for the rest of the week. Uh, I'm guessing it'll be back to low support, especially since he's playing Final Fantasy and Zelda. He's trying to get those playthroughs finished. Uh, but yeah, I mean, oh my lord. Anyway, I, I have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the uh Dizzy Princessville uh for your for your for your visual enjoyment. Peace out.